All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island, where I'm stuck with you and we are always smiling. Um, in today's video, we're going to be doing a, a Chinese dish that was made and created and made popular by Panda Express. I'm going to be trying the exact recipe and see how that goes. I'm a very big fan of Chinese food. Love, love, love Chinese food. And I feel like whenever you try different cuisines, you try making them for the first time, you get to learn different culinary techniques. For example, who would have thought orange and chicken? <laughs> would go well together so let's do that in this video today i hope you guys try it if you love panda express maybe you can try cooking this at home see if you can get it right and i'll see you guys in the next clip all right so basically we have our, our boneless chicken thighs um, we're going to clean them up a bit because there's some fat on it so i'll clean those up really quick and then we are going to cut these up into some one inch cubes All right, so we took off most of the fat. Of course, some fat is gonna still be left back, but we're gonna cut them into as close as we can to some one inch cubes. We're not gonna get it perfect, but as best as we can. So like this piece is very thick. That's basically what you're looking for. All right, so that's the first part. All right, so I'm gonna have the ingredients in the description box. I'm gonna put it on the screen as well if I can. So this is all the dry ingredients here. And then I'm just gonna start making, uh, like they said, something like um, a pancake batter. So I need one and a half cups of water. Uh, I must guesstimate, so two tablespoons of oil. One, two. I'm gonna whisk this around a bit. And then I'm gonna add one egg. All right, so I had my cup measurement and it was too thick. So I know they said they want pancake consistency, so I'm gonna get it to a pancake consistency. So I'm gonna add an egg. So that's the one egg. water to this. I oh, don't know, this looks kind of fun. It's kind of weird because we're not really seasoning chicken. We're just putting the chicken in this batter. <laughs> but let's see. All right, so everything is fried up. This is a very strange recipe, <laughs> but I'm going to go with it. So the chicken isn't like fully seasoned because there's just a bit of salt in this bit of black pepper, white pepper, sorry. And we're going to spin this around and you leave it to chill in your fridge for like half an hour, I believe. Or on ice like we might have to do and that would be it. All right, so we're gonna fry up the chicken a bit. Measurement does say six cups of oil, but I'm just gonna wing it. Once chicken is fried, I think that's enough. So I'll leave there for a while and get it hot. I won't season the won't season the chick the season the oil or anything like that. I'll leave it as it is because I'm following a recipe here. And yeah.
kind of make sure I separate them because all the flour will make it stick together and it's right, so so it seems good. And we're cooking this for six minutes, let's say. But it's a small piece of chicken, so six minutes to be fine. I'm just removing these excess flour things here because I don't want it to burn. And don't put all the chicken at once. Just do enough. And then you can do the next batch. Alright, so these are done. As I said, don't worry about the, the color of it. Because they are still cooking when you put them down. So they are still keep getting browner and browner. I'm just using my, what you call this thing again? Strainer, yeah. <laughs> to, to make life a bit easier doing this. try one of these because the amount of salt that's on it is ridiculous yo <laughs> the crispiness of this that could be a whole cooking fried chicken recipe bro but guys the chicken already has such good flavor with that minimal amount of salt I can just imagine when the sauce when the sauce is gone it. This is gonna be crazy good, bro. Like this is made like, this is so crispy. Wow. Alright, so in here there's a tablespoon of oil, basically. So now we're gonna add some red pepper flakes. red pepper flakes really quick then have the ginger and the garlic as I said I will um, put all the ingredients but this is a recipe that I'm cooking from and you're gonna cook this for about 30 seconds I guess this is just gonna release all the flavors from the spices really quick yeah good to make sure that you have everything measured out and bare and ready because you're gonna have to add these things immediately. I think I have about 10 seconds left. Now in here you guys can see I have some white sugar and the brown sugar. Again there's a recipe. Just gonna add those, turn it a little bit and then the part that makes it orange chicken, the orange juice. Stir it up for a little bit because you want that nice caramelization thing. It's almost like a sweet and sour I guess in some kind of way. Stir that for a bit and let it simmer. So make sure you're constantly stirring, give it time to simmer a bit and stir, stir, stir. and the soy sauce and then now we have the cornstarch and water mix that of 
because cornstarch is going to thicken things up a bit. Gonna add a bit of oil, as I said, and then, of course, you're gonna whisk it. Now it's at maple syrup consistency. Maple syrup consistency. So now I can just toss the chicken, and now. Start coating everything, I guess. Oh my gosh, no. I'll move it over here because I think the fire is a little bit too high. Alright, so. We're trying to make sure everything is coated evenly. Oh, that looks good. It smells good too. Wow. <laughs> I feel like Chinese man. <laughs> I feel like Chinese. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yo, this is coming out better than I thought, bro. Because, like, trust me, Chinese food is one of those dishes where if you don't do it, like, exactly, like, or use, you know, good ingredients, and man, it's going to be hard. But this one's coming out really good. All right, so we're just going to plate this really quick and then just top it with some sesame seeds. And we made Chinese food. Salt baby. So so beautiful man. Look at that. Nicely glazed. Thanks fire for everything you've done. <laughs> Alright, cause time for your digging and you tell me what you feel. So he's a smeller. He smells his food. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. Best. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no. China cook shop. <laughs> Panda no. Express. Right now. <laughs> mm -mm. But it's good, no? I don't know what season seasoning tonight. No? It's not a whole heap of seasoning, and it's so good. <laughs> I just cooked guys. I did not invent this recipe in any way, shape or form. I just executed. So pan this panda express dish is mm. it. Mm-hmm. Can taste the ginger as well. You remember when I was saying like yo, what kind of butter is this? Like where's the seasoning? Mm -hmm. We were so doubtful that it was gonna come out this good. But I knew the sauce would be great, yeah, but like the, the chicken itself, I was like, eh. mm, it's gonna be regular chicken, but I'm not I'm not I'm not even lying. That ain't no regular chicken. I want more. It's so good. Guys, you can do this at home. You guys saw how simple it was. We did it on a wood fire, bro. Come on. You guys can do this. I have faith you guys can do this. I had a dream. <laughs> <laughs> you see Martin. <laughs> Alright guys, that was... <laughs> Yo, this is a really good piece of chicken. I wish you guys could have it. Like. Anyway, you guys are gonna make this at home. I'm certain of it. Those who like Chinese food, I wanna try it yourself. This was quick, easy, and it's really delicious. I'm so surprised with the whole butter and whatever. And I said inside of the video, when you cook different cuisines, you learn different techniques. Cause this could be easily used on a fried chicken. Probably not like um, a 
a fried thigh, but like you know, a fried chicken tender, a chicken breast, it was really good. Mocha, do not chew my hand off, please. Mocha. <laughs> One of my favorite persons on earth. Like, I know it's not a person, it's a dog, but there's nothing that beats a dog's love. Let me tell you, she just sits here, she just relaxes, and you know, great company. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'm not giving away any snacks in this video. If you guys want, you know, a snack, just jump on the website, I'll ship it off to you guys. Um, whenever I get another batch, I'll definitely do some shipments to you guys. But yo, remember to see things, my hands are sticky. Love, nature adaptation and always remember guys please keep the link please keep safe and drop a like on the video drop a comment i'd appreciate it keep the link all right so what if like people see food i cook and they want to eat and they want to try it you get the opportunity to try the food them your honest opinion did they meet expectations they meet it they season it they cook it <laughs> <laughs>